Hey guys, it's Nina here with Runneth Over Garden and Life. Um, just want to give you guys a quick little garden tour since I have not done one in quite some time. So as you can see, my garden bed is completely bare. I have a few, like a volunteer plant, we're thinking it's cucumber. Over here on this side over here, we've got a okra, I believe. It's doing okay. We uprooted it um, to get this bed kind of turned over and put some hay down. So that way, while we're getting our fall crops up and going, it won't, like the sun won't leach out all the goody stuff, like the nutrients and stuff like that. Over there in that far corner over there, we have a tomato plant, but it doesn't look like it's doing all that great. And why do we have sticks? Sticking up out of the ground, I'm quite not sure, but yeah. And then over here, I have an eggplant. It's, I think it's doing pretty good. It's still kind of small, but you know, it's doing its thing. Right here, we have some squash. I think it's doing all right. It's doing a lot better than what it was in the, um, in the smaller container. Over here, we have some more okra growing and then my mint of course and over there we have some African basil and then we have a cord that's drying out and this I am not sure what that is my husband brought it home from work so yeah and then we have my lavender Dying, but hopefully it'll come back. It looks like it's coming back. Hopefully it'll come back. Yeah. And then we have another egg plant right here. Looks like some uh, flea beetles are getting to it. And then this is the lemon tree. It's doing well. My husband put up the umbrella so that way it won't get sun schooled. And then this is the chili pekin. I think this is doing pretty good. It's growing. This is the one that was dying. And then we got a few onions in there that's growing. My other chili pekin. And then over here we have sage, which I believe this sage is like, whoo, it has taken off. It's crazy. One small plant, just, yeah, it's just everywhere. But it's doing really good and it smells awesome. And this, guys, is was, it was painted by my daughter. Isn't that gorgeous? And then let's take you down here. Here, uh, over here, I'm growing some kale. It's looking pretty good, pretty lush, pretty good. Can't wait to start. Well, we can probably start picking off of this and start eating it, but I want it to get a little bit bigger. And then out down this way towards the greenhouse, this is. Um, my Tabasco plant, but I had to butcher it because the aphids were just, yeah, they were just terrorizing this poor plant and it's still kind of recuperating. So I have one lonely, I don't know if you can see it, one lonely uh, Tabasco pepper on that, which is kind of funny. And then this one looks like it's dying, my jalapeno plant. It looks really sad. And my other pepper plant. Check out this huge pepper. I mean, like, geez. This thing is huge. They're usually not that big. They're usually, like, this big. We have another uh, chili pekin right there. And then, see 
how these these look like really bad. See that? Really bad. The aphids are just tearing it up. And then on top of that, we have mealy bugs going on. You see that little white? That, those are mealy bugs. And then the jalapeno plant. And then for the life of me, I cannot get rid of these leaf miners. Yeah, they're they're living their little squiggly lines all over the place, all over these leaves. And then we have these bishop's crown peppers. And then this is supposed to be the like California Reaper, but I have not got any uh, fruit off of it yet. And then I believe that one's supposed to be my brain strain but no fruit off of that either and as you can see some of those leaves are really bad because of the aphids and it's just it's awful and then I am really really proud about this because I've been baiting in this plant like forever and it's finally setting fruit so these my friends are Peter peppers they're supposed to get a little bigger I believe and this um supposed to be turning red so we'll see about that. So I got, I think, three, three of these peppers. One, two, and this big one right here is three. And I have a few more flowers. And, oh, look at that. I'm getting a little baby one right in there. Cool beans. I'm so excited about this. I haven't tasted these pita peppers before, but I'm hoping that they're delicious. Okay, and our cucumber plant. Yeah. It's huge, like. So many leaves everywhere. And it's just, it's, <laughs> it's dying. It's dying. So many aphids. Look at that infestation, it's so bad. I'm supposed to be getting some ladybugs here coming this afternoon, so hopefully with that, these ladybugs will have a feast and get rid of, get rid of all these aphids. But look how nasty and bad that looks. So I'm hoping with a lot of prayer and hopefully with 300 ladybugs, they will, um, Aphids. and my basil plant is right in between these two cucumber plants and then my daughter did this and then my husband built it she came out and she painted she painted this this uh, counter box for me and then say hello to Mr. Kirtle that my sister bought me for my birthday. <laughs> it's cute. And then a friend of mine had bought this for me like two years ago. I, I want to say these are Turkish cap uh, flowers. They're supposed to be a bee and butterfly pollinator uh, plant. But I believe I need more, <laughs> more flowers in the garden to, you know, um, bring out the pollinators. I didn't see very many this year. A few butterflies, but not too many. And hardly any bees, which is kind of sad. Because, you know, bees are always good and beneficial for you. And the plants. And this is the tomato plant that I was talking about earlier. I'm looking all sad. But yeah, and that's all I have for you today, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and hope y'all have a blessed day. Alright, bye.